Now, uh, we promise you mince pies. The world's largest mince pie factory in Barnsley relies on seasonal workers to make 720 mince pies per minute at peak times. Oh, that's a lot of mince pies. Yeah. Uh, Victoria is there for us this morning. Some interesting news about a rise in demand for Christmas jobs. Now, if you're going to talk Christmas jobs, where else would you talk about them? Morning, Victoria. Hi, good morning to you, Nagger. Dan, smell that, smell of vision. I don't know if you can get that, but you're right. 720 mince pies a minute, 220 million pies a year. They need an extra 350 staff in order to do this production line. Later on, I'm going to be talking mince pies facts, and I'm going to be meeting the research and development technologist, i.e. the food taster, who comes up with a crucial recipe. But first, the news, travel and weather, where you are. to seven. Talking well, Christmas, mince yeah, pies. Yeah, mince pie time. Do you know, more you, than... Go on. Well, was, the thing that staggered me about mince pies, you know you're meant to meet mince pies currently, apparently, according to an etiquette expert, with your left hand. Yeah, it's supposed to it's supposed to be a little thing so you can shake hands with your right. Well, so you, can get, you can get the next one with the your right one. hand. <laughs> Do you know who's going to know all about mince pies? Victoria. She's at a mince pie factory this morning and talking about seasonal working. Morning, Victoria. Hi, good morning to you both. Yeah, that is right. It's not just the elves that have got Christmas jobs. There are plenty of temporary and seasonal workers too. It's not just making a list, checking it twice. There's all sorts of jobs, particularly in things like manufacturing. You can see all the mince pies coming off the factory here at the moment. They couldn't make the 720 mince pies a minute here without seasonal workers. And when it comes to seasonal and temporary work, the number of applications is actually up 11% this year. But although demand is up, the number of candidates searching for these roles has actually gone down. Let's speak now to Martin Tolbert, who's from Total Jobs. Why do you think there's this mismatch between the amount of jobs available and the number of people looking for them? Well, things are changing regarding temporary work across the whole of the year now. Uh, the gig economy has given access to temporary work for people year, year round. So you find people might that used to maybe take up temporary roles are taking jobs like Uber or Deliveroo or things of that nature. OK, and what about what's going on in terms of Brexit and the EU and all that stuff? Because we've seen a sort of a reversal, haven't we, of migration into the UK of EU workers? That's right. With EU workers in particular, we found that uh, even through the summer where farming was affected, we now had it uh, into the Christmas period where fewer of those migration workers uh, are coming to the UK and uh, as they used to. Thanks very much, Martin. Uh, I know you're probably going to be doing some quality standards and some taste testing a bit later, so I'll see you later. So we actually bought 220 million mince pies last year and demand is set to rise yet again this year. We obviously, we just love our pies, don't we? And uh, here they've had to take on another 350 staff as a result of trying to open all these production lines. And the man in charge of this entire factory is Simon. I've got Simon here. Simon, what kind of jobs are all these temporary workers doing? Uh, we've got quite a range of jobs for people. So we'll bring people in maybe July for six months. They'll be doing quite technical jobs they'll be running some of the machinery and then we've got some of the uh, some of the team will be checking the quality of the products and then there'll be some manual packing jobs for them so quite a combination of jobs okay and what do they do come December 26th where do they all go well some of them will stay with us into the uh, new year and then especially as we get towards Easter where we ramp up again so some will come back and some will go to some of the surrounding um, businesses but a lot keep coming back to us so they'll be coming in Easter and then again as we get back to peak in summer Okay, Simon, thank you very much. About 80% of the seasonal workers here at this factory actually come back year on year. One thing they might notice is actually the recipe keeps changing. And the woman in charge of the taste testing here is research and development technologist Emma Reeb. Why do you keep changing the recipe? Surely a pie's a pie's a pie. Well, you would think so, but well, the consumer would think so. But um, at Mr Kipling, we test our pies with the consumer each year and get feedback from them we want to make the nation's favorite mince pie so we check with them what they like get feedback from them and change the recipe where we can and go on how early do you start eating mince pies in the year well if i didn't eat them all year anyway <laughs> i would probably start around the first of december because i love christmas so we've got to get in the christmas spirit so why not <laughs> okay great and i think there's snowflakes aren't there this year instead of uh, hollies and berries yeah, we, um, we tested our pies with consumers and created a new design because we wanted to update it and modernise it because we've had the berries for a few years. And um, when we tested it with our consumers, it scored really well and people really loved it. And so we thought, right, that's what we've got to go with. That's what the people want.
There we go. Give the people what they want. Thanks very much, Emma. So yeah, we're going to have lots more throughout the rest of the day. And I know that you're into your mince pie facts, Dan and Naga, so I've got one for you. Mince pies, they used to be savoury. We've actually found a recipe uh, from the 14th century where they were called tarts of flesh, would you believe? And you can actually find a leg of mutton in a mince pie. Plenty more coming up a little bit later on. Back to you. Thanks very much, Victoria. Never too early for mince pie in your world, is it? Oh, I'll go end of August, I go for mince pie. And do you know, I've, I've been reading all about mince pies in preparation. Uh, they didn't used to be round. Some of them were rectangular, thought to be based on Jesus' manger. So it's only round in recent times. Who knew? We've got I'll, loads of facts. I'll be sprinkling these the throughout the morning for you. He will. <laughs> Time to get the news, travel, and weather where you are. See you soon. Mince pies. Yeah. We're we're at uh, live this morning. Well, Victoria is at uh, the biggest mince pie producer in the entire United Kingdom. Uh, I'm talking about Christmas jobs because they're one of those businesses, Victoria, that need to recruit people because this is a busy time of year for them. This is peak pie here in Barnsley. Yeah, that's right. I love that. You guys are libertarians when it comes to mince pies. Well, you wouldn't be wrong because actually they used to be able to eat these in Easter as well. They were kind of just a celebration pie. But yeah, we're here talking about seasonal workers because they wouldn't be able to make 720 mince pies a minute if they didn't take on more staff. Oh, we seem to have run out. Oh, here we go. You can see the mince pies going into each of the sleeves. There's six per pack and they're flying off the shelves. About 220 million mince pies are going to be eaten in Britain over the next uh, few weeks. And um, a lot of them here are going to be made here in Barnsley. But yeah, they've had to take on another 350 staff just to run these three production lines for pies. One man who knows all about recruitment is Martin Tolbert, who works at Total Jobs. Now, we've been looking at seasonal work. It's quite interesting. The numbers are up about 11% on applications this year. But lots of people are now in permanent roles. So who are the type of people who take on temporary jobs? All right, well, at Total Jobs, what we found is that it's uh, students and uh, people who've had warehouse experience, so particularly uh, popular for uh, seasonal activities, yeah. And what kind of seasonal jobs are being advertised at the moment on the site? All right, well, we've got uh, a lot of seasonal work in hospitality as uh, Christmas parties take off. We've got a lot in uh, operations and fulfilment, particularly in warehousing, to serve the retail market. And then, of course, in retail stores themselves. And how many Christmas elves and Christmas Santas do you have on the site at the moment? Well, at the moment, there are 65 companies looking for a, a, a Santa. And we've got about 240 people who would like a, 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 a Christmas tree farmers. There we go. All right. Thanks very much, Martin. So there you go. 65 companies in need of Santa. So if that's you, you know where to go. Uh, let's talk now to Emma Reeve. Now, Emma is in charge of developing the recipes for the mince pies. How on earth do you end up becoming the taste tester for the biggest manufacturer of mince pies in Britain? Well, te not technically my uh, everyday job role, but um, I did a degree in food science at University of Leeds a few years ago and then uh, placement in MPD at Premier Foods at a different site and that led me to here, basically. How much are you allowed to play with the recipe from year to year? Because presumably it's got to have the same stuff in it, no? Yeah, so a mince pie, despite everyone thinks a pie is a pie, but it has um, regulations, it has to contain um, a certain amount of sugar, fat and vine fruit, so it's raisins and sultanas or currants, um, in the recipe, in the mince meat, to call it a mince meat. So we can't change that much and we know what's traditionally a mince pie, so we play with spice and orange oil and stuff like that to keep with the trends and what consumers want. And in the research and development laboratories, do you have everyone else's mince pies as well? Do you taste them all and check that yours is better? We sometimes do. We like to keep um, an eye on what's going on in the market for our own, um, for our, so we know. So that helps us keep up, up to date with trends and what's going on as well. So yeah, taste a lot of mince pies. <laughs> now there's a big debate going on on how the best way is to eat it, to serve it, go on. From the official taste tester, how do you eat your mince pie? So my preferred ways are the best when they come fresh out of the oven here. So I at home would pop in the microwave, take the foil out, take them out of the foil up for 10 seconds and they're nice and warm inside and still crisp, lovely warm pastry. That's the best way. There you go. Thanks very much, Emma. So crucially, don't forget to take the foil off. Uh, if you're going to pop them in the microwave. So, yeah, we're going to be talking a lot more about what's going on here at the factory. 220 million mince pies. We obviously absolutely love them. They seem like an English tradition. But did you know they didn't actually come from Britain in the first place at all? They actually come from the Middle East. 
But if you want a bit of good luck for your Christmas mince pies, and maybe you're making them at home, you're supposed to stir the mince meat clockwise for good luck. So there you go, another mince pie fact for you. Mince meat stirred clockwise. See, you're learning so many facts this morning. Thanks for talking mince pie. Oh, yes. Love them. How uh, you like it. We are at a factory with Victoria this morning where I think she was saying, telling us earlier, Victoria, was it 720 mince pies a minute or something go, go past when they're at peak production? We're talking about seasonal jobs and the fact that this um, uh, factory in Barnsley, they have to employ so many more people this time of year. Yeah, it's absolutely crazy. You're totally right. 720 mince pies a minute because we, the Great British public, are going to consume over 200 million of them in the next month or so. A lot of them are baked here in Barnsley. This is, in fact, the biggest production facility of mince pies in Britain. And they've had to take on an extra 350 seasonal workers to be able to keep these production lines open. However, quite interestingly, a survey of uh, lots of recruiters have found that although demand is up from companies for seasonal work, the number of people applying is actually falling. Let's speak to Martin Talbot. Why do you think that would be? Uh, well, from the point of view of people applying, we've had uh, about 1.6 million applications this year, but you're right in to say that the absolute number of people that are applying has dropped slightly. We think this is partly because People have got an opportunity for temporary work across the year and also we've had fewer European staff applying for jobs this Christmas. Okay, Martin, thank you very much. Well, in charge of this factory is Simon Wid. We're going to find him. He's a little bit further up the production line, so if you follow me, we'll find him. He's in charge of taking on all these extra workers. Now, Simon, tell me, what does this production line do for the rest of the year? Because all these workers, are they going to get laid off or do they go and make something else instead? They'll make something else. I mean, this line in particular will continue to run all year round. We peak production, we have three lines running for pies. This, once we get into Christmas, we'll go down to one. But we're also running the products across the uh, factory as well, like Angel Slice and Battenberg, so they'll move across to some of that as well. And we were talking um, about Brexit, weren't we? Because your company, Premier Foods, said that it would start stockpiling raw ingredients um, in case there was any disruption caused by Brexit. Please tell the British public that the mince pie is safe. The mince pie is safe. We will have uh, an increased stock level of fresh materials to ensure we keep supply. Okay. All right, thanks very much, Simon. Now, let's uh, go this way, because I hopefully will be able to find Emma in and amongst this production facility. Emma is actually the official mince pie taste tester. She develops the new recipes. Um, Emma, how does it make you feel when you see your pies on the conveyor belt and people are putting them into their shopping and taking them home? I love it. It's just you see someone with your, your baby that you've spent time working on and getting, getting into that pack and then you see someone buy it and it just, it's really proud. You just can see people buying products that you've put so much into. How much do consumers really change the recipe? Because you've changed it this year, haven't you? Yeah, so we, we test each of our recipes that we work on numerous ones for the year and then uh, test it with consumers to make sure that we really are making the Mr Kipling pie, the nation's favourite mince pie. So this recipe that we've launched with the snowflake, it actually scored statistically the best out of all of our recipes in terms of all attributes, flavour, appearance, texture and everything like that. So it really is the best recipe we could be making for our customers. And quickly, tell me if you can, the science of mince pies, the science of a warm mince pie. There's nothing like it, is it? You're a food scientist, so what is that smell? So the smell, it's um, the byproduct of a process called the Maillard reaction, which is also affects the, the colour. So that smell is the reaction of amino acids and sugar together, and they create the colour and the smell. So that's where it comes from. There we go. Thank you very much, Emma. So there you go, you have it. A fun-filled morning full of mince pies. It's not too early to start eating them now, is it? What do you think? Never, never too early. Well, I, I was saying I, I went uh, late August and I've been continuing that ever since. So I, I'm yeah. into the hundreds by now. The only problem with late August is you lose, the, you know, that treat of having a mince pie in that first one of the year. Mm, yeah, but you get it in August. Yeah, but then you lose it for September, October, November. I start eating cream eggs in January. I mean, <laughs> I just love them. I don't like those. Oh, Oh, no. Oh, no. We're very divided on that one. Oh. Whole other issue. Yeah, right. Five to